Now in our project, I also have a shipping docker PHP image. So let's go to build again, PHP, and we'll see what I have here. So I have a PHP FPM and a www.comp file. PHP FPM here is set to run as a daemon, or I should say not as a daemon. So I'll find that demonized no. So I don't want PHP FPM to run in the background. That's why I have uh, set a configuration file here purely so I can say demonize no. And www.conf, I have changed from the default configuration because I want it to listen on all networks at port 9000 so that we can speak to this Nginx container over a network instead of a Unix socket file. So the Docker file here is fairly simple. It has a little bit more than our Nginx one, but we'll see what it does. So I'm starting with Ubuntu again at 16.04. I'm the maintainer, and I run the commands I need to run to get PHP from the Andre PHP uh, PPA, which is just an Ubuntu repository location. So I need to set the locale, in other words, the language as uh, US, but UTF-8. And then I set some environment variables that says to use that UTF-8 English, which is needed specifically for this PPA because some of the names uh, associated with it use UTF-8 characters. It's just kind of a little bit of an annoying thing you have to do. But it just runs apt get update. I install some stuff like curl, zip, unzip, and git. These are all needed in order to run compose commands. And then I do software properties common, which gives me the add apt repository command. Then I get the repository PHP. I install PHP. This will get me PHP 7 stuff. I install composer. I create a directory needed by uh, PHP to run. I remove software properties common, and then I clean up um, packages. So this will clean up some artifacts of just downloading software. And then I do some other cleanup operations just to get rid of excess stuff we don't need. This is just cleanup to make the image as little as possible. I add our two configurations to the default locations that they would normally go to. I expose port 9000 because this will be communicated over port 9000. And I set the default command as PHP FPM 7.0. This is just like in the Nginx uh, Docker file where we tell it to run Nginx by default. Here by default, I want it to run PHP FPM 7.0. It's just the name of the command to run. Now building this is exactly the same. If I head back to my PHP directory, we see we have those files and I just do docker build dash T shipping docker PHP latest, or I could do 1.1 or just any tag I want period. And that will start building my PHP container. All right, I'm actually gonna stop it because I don't wanna make a new container at the moment, but that's how you do it. Now, the last thing I'm gonna show you is my build script here. And I'll show you that inside of GitHub because it's a little easier to read. Now, all I've done here is just say the current directory of the of the build script to get that so that we don't have to worry about relative directory stuff. I CD into Nginx. I do the exact commands we saw. I build it. I can pass it a tag here. So I can do 1.1, 1.2, whatever. That'll get passed as this variable and also tag whatever I pass in this latest. And then I do Docker push. I push all the tags we create. Um, and I do the same for PHP. So basically all I'm doing here is running all the build steps we just saw, but it's a little bit more automated. Now, if you want to create your own repository in Docker Hub, you can sign up at Docker Hub and then you can change shipping Docker here to whatever your username is, this namespace slash username. So instead of shipping Docker, it'll be whatever your username is. And you can reuse that and create your own Docker compose file that pulls those in. So all you do basically there is just change your username from shipping Docker. And then in Docker compose, you can change that here to pull in your own images.